good day. The state television company of Western Armenia presents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, Armenians of Tigran Akert met in their hometown some years later. Azerbaijan is trying to install power poles in the Artsakh village of Agavno, which the Armenian site does not allow. The International Conference on Culture Heritage of Artsakh was held, no matter how the Azerbaijanis try to fail it. Sites of Western Armenia, Botan Valley in Sagert, Rudenko does not exclude the new trilateral meeting of Pashinyan Putin Aliyev. The park named after Armenia was opened in French city of Montpellier. Excavations continue in Harbert of Western Armenia. After seven years, the Armenian Church of St. Kyriakos in Tigran Akert in Western Armenia reopened with a great event, in which the Armenians of Tigran Akert expelled for their homeland and scattered around the world gathered to participate. Some of those who spent their childhood and youth in Tigran Akert came to their hometown for the first time after 15 years, some after 25 years. However, the houses in which they were born and grew up were quitted to the earth, and the narrow streets have already been erased from their memories. The open of the church for the Armenians gathered in one place. On one hand was joy and happiness, on the other hand refreshed their sadness, pain and memories. The Armenians gathered in a St. Kirakos church remember the old days by telling each other about their past. The Azerbaijanis have not installed power points in the village of Agavno. They will be installed in the mountains adjacent to the village. In an interview with Laragir.am, the head of the Agavno community, Andranik Chavushan, said, We have also agreed with the responsible authorities that taking into account the conflict, this power post should be located outside the village. Our vote for words accepted. It's not like it's a new topic. The agreement was old, but they just come to install this power post now. In one place they tried to install it in the village, but we rejected it. Chavushan said, according to him, the trilateral statement of November 9 provided for the construction of a new road, electricity and other issues. There was an agreement that electricity should be installed. The Russian peacekeepers say that they are doing their job. Moreover, they consider we are violating the agreement. Now there are people who say the Azerbaijanis are paving the way. If our people don't build, they have to build. They work day and night. Why don't our people build? This pass by passes our village, but it does not change change anything, we will continue to live here, the head of the community said. An international conference focusing on the protection of Artsakh culture heritage was held in Vienna recently, despite the Azerbaijani government's attempts to prevent it. The conference was organized by the University of Salzburg, the Austrian Office of the Blue Shield, the Vienna Museum of Historical Arts and Ejmiadzin Mother Sea Office from the Spiritual and Cultural Heritage of Artsakh. Azerbaijan ambassador to Austria, Rovshan Sadigbaili, went to the rector of the University of Salzburg and requested the armeologist, linguist Jasmine Dum Tragut be stopped from organizing the conference. Prior to the conference, an exhibition entitled Culture in Conflict, Artsakh Armenian Culture Heritage was on display in Salzburg from May 11th to 14th, during which the book Artsakh Spiritual and Culture Heritage was presented. The book was published on the initiative of the Artsakh Office for Spiritual and culture heritage of Ejmiadzin, Mother C. Doom Tragut says some of the potential participants refused to attend the conference because they say that they did not want to be get involved in a conflict, even though they were told the problem was culture and not political. The fact that 100,000 Armenians still live in Artsakh serve as a partial guarantee that the same will not happen there. Read the full article on our official website. Tojbash Cave in Sagert province of Western Armenia and the nearby Rok Delikitash are located in the upper part of Botan Gorge and attract the attention of tourists with their natural beauty. It is known that the cave once served as a shelter. Thanks to a small opening, the passage between the two sections of the cave is carried out from the inside without the need for an exit. There is a large rock near the cave, which people call the Flying Stone. The stone is so named because young people who come here jump from one rock to another to prove their bravery. The cave looking from the height of 350 meters of Botan River was formed from stones in ancient times, even before our era. Dear compatriot, these sites of our homeland, our Western Armenia, can also become one of the places of your visit and pleasure. 
Russian Deputy Foreign Minister Andrei Rudenko does not rule out the organization of a new trilateral meeting of the heads of Armenia, Russian and Azerbaijan to discuss the settlement of the Artsakh problem. As reported by Armen Press, Rudenko said this in an interview with Taz, we continue coordinated work at all levels in the direction of implementation of the trilateral agreements reached at the highest level on November 9, 2020, January 11, 2021 and November 26, 2021. One, the leaders are in constant contact. We do not exclude the organization of a personal meeting if necessary. On May 11th in Dushanbe, within the framework of meeting of CIS, Council of Foreign Ministers Sergei Lavrov discussed the entire range of the issues related to the settlement of relations between Baku and Yerevan with colleagues from Armenia and Azerbaijan, Andrei Rudenko said. The opening ceremony of the Armenian Park was held in a French city of Montpellier. This was reported on a Facebook page of Armenian Embassy in France. The vast park adjacent to the Montpellier municipality was named after Armenia as a sign of Armenian-French friendship. The opening of the park was held by the mayor of Montpellier, Michel de la Fosse, and the ambassador of Armenia to France, Hasmik Tolmajian. Speeches were delivered by the mayor of Montpellier, the ambassador of Armenia to France, the founder of honor president of the Armenian Association of Montpellier, and professor of the University of Paul Valéry in Montpellier, Gerard Dedeyan. The performances were followed by the cultural programs, during which poems by Yerche Charent, songs by Charles Laznavour, and a number of other Armenian horses were performed by children of the School of Armenian Association of Montpellier, as well as performances on Duduk and Armenian ethnographic dances, with the participation of representatives of Union of Armenian Youth of France. Excavation on the fortress and citadel of Kharbert have been completed in a quarter of the city of Kharbert in western Armenia. In the course of the research, fragments of ceramics, kitchen items and some other objects were found. A report on the work done has been compiled. It is known that people began to live in Kharbert from the Urartian period, starting from the 8th century. But from archaeological excavation, it became clear that the history of Kharbert dates back to the earlier times, where the roots of everyday culture go back to the 3rd millennium. Now musical part, Armenian folk song, Hovarek Sarerjan, Varujan Markaryan. The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.